I want to take a look at SAS and in actuality I want to take a look at debugging SAS. So one of the biggest um, arguments I suppose I hear about using SAS in uh, large scale projects or um, just in production in general when you have large teams is the, the fact that it's it's hard to debug. Now I've never really come across this problem since, since I've been using uh, tools since I've been using SAS in general, um, I've been using CodeKit a lot lately. Um, before that, I was using Live Reload, and I really like them both, and they're both really good tools, and they um, they both offer the same sort of functionality. Yeah, this one's got a bit of a nicer, I suppose, um, GUI to it, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. I just want to show you in CodeKit how I do debugging. So what I do is when I'm compiling for my um, when I'm compiling my SCSS to my CSS, um, I use the compact um, output style, and you can actually have debug info in the CSS. You can run bless if you want on it. And so when it's compiled, I get these selector line numbers in my CSS that tell me which um, part of the SCSS that this is generated from. So if I moved my body from line three um, sorry, down, let's say, to line 14, it doesn't make any sense for it to be there. Uh, when it's recompiled, it's, its body is line 14. It's here. So move that back up, save. Um, and it's it's back to line three again. So that's what I've always used. And whilst that it does kind of put that extra step in the workflow, it 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 works. And most of the time, you've written your SAS. If you're a person who writes a lot of SAS, you've written it in a way where it's quite easy to debug. When you hover over a selector, it's quite easy to find that selector in your CSS. But there are people that complain a lot about debugging. So. The other option in debug is full debug info. When you compile that, it gives you this at media um, SAS debug info on it. Um, and whilst that's not really human readable, that enables source maps to be used. Um, at the moment, the only implementation I know is in Chrome, and the Chrome that I'm using is. Chrome 22, so it's the latest version. I think this has been in there for a while though. Um, and if we have a look, so when we inspect, we can only see our uh, main dot CSS and the line number that that relates to. And you can imagine as your SAS file gets bigger and your main CSS gets bigger, that this becomes a bit more difficult. So, if we come over to settings, uh, enable source maps. So, just click in this enable source maps for JavaScript. If you've never heard of uh, source maps for JavaScript, you can check out this um, HTML5 Rocks um, introduction to JavaScript source maps, which is really good and, allow, and will eventually allow you to um, see the original source if you're using things like CoffeeScript or, or Clojure or something like that. Um, rather than the generated script, it gets remapped back to the original. So the thing we need to do to enable it for SAS is use Chrome Flags. And if you've never used flag tool in Chrome, you are missing out because there are a lot of useful things in there, even just for testing and things like that. So we're looking for enable to the other part tools experiments. We enable it, we relaunch Chrome. Compact full debug info. Yep. Oh. 
I didn't enable it. So when you've enabled Chrome Experiments, you can come back into your settings and you will have this Experiments tab. Then you click on Support for SAS, close. You will now see that this maps back to the SCSS, even though it's still using the compiled version. It's using this and it's mapping it back to the SCSS. So if I move again, if I just quickly move the body down, it will now tell me that line 23 is where I've set the body background pink. See, body background, but it's best color, and best color is variable we'll just set up here called pink line 23. So that's how you use um, source maps for SAS and um, it, it's pretty awesome. It it will, That now I believe completely flattens the debate about SAS is you can't debug SAS um, which is just nonsense and I think that you should definitely try a SAS and if you're gonna try a SAS you should um, use this. You can do you can do the same thing uh, within Live Reload. You can um, go to the options and come back to output style. And I believe this time I'll code here for a second. Move body back up. See if you might not have it, but I think you can set the options. Load, load. Main CSS three. Yeah, so when live reload compiles, it will also um, set the debug info flag. And you can do this in the command line um, when you're passing. Um, if you if you still if you compile by the command line, I don't, um, just simply because I find these tools do a little bit more. You know, if I have to restart my machine, things like that, they do a little bit more for me. But it's these two tools exist. Um, I think there's a live reload available for Windows machines. Um, CodeKit, unfortunately, is Mac only. Yeah, and they both supply the the ability to debug your SAS. So yeah, SAS is now debuggable. Chrome at the moment, but others will surely follow.